So today I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics of Ibis Paint. So here we have, at the top right corner, we have a few things that are highlighted with blue. We have a plus button, an I button, a play button, an export button, a settings button where you will do that, and then you have select. which where you can delete as many as you want and then we have edit where you can edit the thing so yeah so here's the gallery that you're going to be having but since you don't have anything or yeah to press the plus button and it will give you these things and then you have to press SD or HD or if you want a square you can press the one with the sizing things over here or you can press the one dot dot and then one so I'm going to be choosing the SD size if you want it to be portrait you can do it like this And then what you have here is you have transform so yeah I'm going to be showing you that once I got it and then here got a magic wand so it outlines it like that and then that's where the transform comes in you can do that like that and then you have the last suit it's pretty much like the thingy but you can add things and then the filter yes it has these and then the brush which is this basically let me let me just import a picture and then make that okay and then if this pops up you have to press OK, but if you want it to be normal, you have to press the X. So now you have this. You have in the eraser, which does this, which just erases everything. And then we have the smudge that can, you know, wait, let me just, let me just. Let me just demonstrate. Smudge. Basically like that. Then we have the blur. Make it as thick as you want, as thin as you want. Just makes it blurry. And then we have bucket. You can just fill it up like that. Ooh, that actually looks nice. It doesn't. <laughs> and then we got the text, which... Ta-da! So yeah. And if you don't like that, you can delete the layer. And then here we have frame divider, which you can basically add a frame. That's what I used for one of my paintings because I love these. I don't know why. And then you basically just do that, and it does that. Hey, hey. Like that, and then you can do the rest of the things as you want. Maybe like a star I don't know what I'm doing so yeah and then we have the eyedropper which basically you can choose any you can just tap the area of the color you want 
and then the color pops up over here and over here is where you're going to pick your colors so let's say you want this shade of purple let's put it over here so that we can save it and if i don't want it i can just do that <laughs> but there's actually no way you can delete the thing because yes we need abs paint we need to get that thing that i've always wanted to do to delete these to delete some of these things because I'm pretty annoyed by some of them and I want to delete them but I don't know how to delete them so please and then we have can we have the settings which is this so yeah and then we have canvas it has some stuff it has change size it has trim where you can just basically trim the canvas but i don't want to do that Who, what happened and then we have resize then we have rotate. Then we have rotate again. And then we have invert horizontal. And then we have invert vertical. So yeah, that's all the basics you will need to know. Over here at the top corner is where you can find these things. I will demonstrate on how I usually use them. They're really cool. So basically, you take these, and then you go to the background patterns. I love that place. And find the picture I want. I really like the fading over here. Actually, over here, yes. It has a perfect shot of all the colors. Yes. And then, I put another layer. And then, I make this invisible by pressing the I button. And then, you go to bucket, go to black. Boom, put that. And then you go to eraser. Make sure it's pretty small or pretty big. I want it pretty small. And then I choose this or this, which you can basically make this thing I'm making. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wait. So you can basically make that. I'm trying to go for the perfect pattern I want. I can barely even see it. I'm trying to do it. Does that look good? Now I'm trying to do it perfectly. Yeah. It. do it the other way and then I'll do it this way and I'll do it this way 
Wow, that looks cool, actually. I love it. So, yeah. I used to do these all the time. I don't know why I quit it for a long time. But if you enjoyed this informational video, please give this a like. And please subscribe if you haven't already. That would totally mean a whole lot to me. And thank you for watching.